Good morning. Well, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this, but it's morning here. Uh, welcome back to the farm. Welcome back to the channel. This is Lisa. And we just put 90 raw eggs uh, up in the pantry from the freeze dryer. Had them running for a while. And today we are going to take down the fence in the back that we showed you in one of our previous videos, which is the electric net fencing and get it raked. So come on along. So this was the area that Grant and Norman were in since July. And we're gonna pull that fencing, get it put away. We're gonna rake it up. Ryan's already taken down the fencing. So I'll bring you back when we're doing the raking. That's what I love about net fencing. You just pick it up post by post. And we'll just roll these up and oh, my hands are sticky with all that pine sap but you can see we've got manure over there and hay lots of rooting so he's gonna rake that and i'm gonna get the fences rolled up and i'll bring you right back but i want you to see this so dry But we're doing this so that way we can have it all ready. That way, if it rains or if it snows, we get some kind of moisture. Uh, it is all ready to grow for next year. That way, all we have to do is put them down here next year. Fences are all rolled up and tied, ready for storage. The good news is, is they're already dry as a bone, so we don't have to worry about that. So you can already see the debris that he's pulling that way. And if you remember correctly, we did rake this in the spring after we were done with trees, but it's another opportunity to get all the dead branches that fell when we had uh, storms and such. Stuff like this. And you can see where he's raked it, there's a little bit of green grass poking out. So if we get some moisture, it'll pop. And then again, like I said, we will seed this over the winter and hopefully next year we'll have a good pasture. Remember, we've got a lot of stumps down here, so he's got to lift up over the stumps. All right, I'm gonna go pick up some stuff and debris that are close to the trees that he can't get and I'll bring you back. We will be leaving their house there and those tires for winter because that worked out really well when it got really hot. That building was a lot cooler than the outside and I would hose the floor down. So we're gonna stick with that. So why do we rake other than the obvious? Well, because we have limited space, limited acreage, and the reality of it is, is with no rain, the manure doesn't break down as fast. And so we feel comfortable and we feel it's more sanitary to clean the pastures. So there's not piles and piles of manure laying around that doesn't decompose quite quickly. Whether that's right or wrong, it makes us feel better, feel like our animals are in healthier environments. And so that's why we do it. And so we will rake all the pastures out, usually in, uh, winter and spring or fall and spring and take it from there. So I just missed it on, uh, recording it but some of the things Ryan is doing is also leveling the ground where the pigs dug their wallers 
That way we don't have a ton of holes out here. And there's a stump under there. It's so crazy dry and dusty and to the point where you have to shut like, you know, the side by side off while you're down here because, you know, an idling engine or even an engine just riding over the grass can cause a fire. fix the tractor seat because tractors years ago were made for very short folks and that's not the case with us so thankfully he's got more leg room That was the big manure pile there where the pigs chose to really go to the bathroom. put that in a pile and he's going to put that to our burn pile because this first one is our compost pile and we want to use that in the spring so he's just gathering it all up in a pile make it easier to deal with
This is another reason why we've cut so many trees back here and that is so we could maneuver. So while he's doing that, I think he's done over here. It may not look like the greatest, but at least now the grass can grow because it can see the light of day. And we can let it rest for the winter. He may come back and do some touch up, but I know in the spring he'll want to do it again, but we'll have to be very careful we don't disturb it in the spring. So we may let that go. And the reason why we do it in the spring is because of all the pine cones and pine needles that are falling now. So hopefully we've got all those. So I think he's done, but you can see everything he raked up. Some places he can't go because he can't fit with the tractor. And then there's also the big stumps, which can wreck the rake, so he's got to be careful. They're not made for raking mountainous areas with rocks, they're meant for raking fields, so, but, looking so much better. So there you have it, nothing glamorous, <laughs> just homestead life, right? Nothing glamorous, nothing major, but stuff you gotta do. So he's parking the tractor now, and I'm gonna go in, and when the freeze dryer is done defrosting, I am going to get some lemon balm, some marigold, some calendula, and some basil in there going. So I have that for when I need it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Take care.